one. All right. Yep. We we live. All right. So first and foremost, want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Hakwadash. A peace and blessings to the whole family elect that are listening and learning the Akiwa Akwath Yum. And double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that's been teaching us this truth. Uh. Most respect to the mighty Kabarium on the highways and hedges, bidding Yashra to the marriage and to those Kabarium making bids of the vacation to wake up the lost sheep. In salutations to the whole family elect that scattered the brother beyond to the speck of as it says in Jeremiah. I have with me the brother Abadia. His oh. channel, check out his channels. America is Babylon the Great and Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai Abad Zah. Very uh, knowledgeable brother, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Check his channels out. And I'll also put those channels in the comment section after the video, Lord willing. So as you see, as you see in the uh, in the title, it says, as in the days of old, a man, most importantly, a man of the Lord, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, yeah. shall be as fine gold. Okay, yeah. so now in the days of old, the Israelite man, was considered a god, a lowercase god, all right? Because why? Because we were the children of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. See, when, when Jacob wrestled that angel, Jacob's name was what? Uh, changed into Israel, right? Which is Yashar Allah in the Paleo Hebrew, which means what? Prince of the power. And I believe in um, the book of Psalms, the 82nd, the 82nd chapter, it says what? Ye are gods and children of the Most High. So we were in right. a, a high spiritual position, okay? Our stature spiritually was, was great, okay? But as we know, what due to our transgression of the lower statutes of commandments, we were placed right. in a lower state, all right? We were scattered to the four corners of the earth, all right? Um, um, being ruled over by the heathen nations. And on top of that, which, which was a curse, and on top of that, now what? Where where we're seen as what as garbage? The scriptures say what folly is set in great dignity, and the princes sit in a low state. Okay, so we're in that low state now. All right, due to the curses, and on top of that, we have what we have the weaker vessel ruling over us. All right, so let me get something real quick because um I wanted to bring that out. I brought out Psalms, Psalms eighty two. I know it was roughly paraphrasing, but I got to bring it out. I think Psalms 82 and verse 6. Yep. Verse 6. Beautiful. It says, I have said, yep, I have said ye are gods. You see that? I have said ye are gods and all of you are children of the Most High. So that's proof right there that the Israelite man is unto a God. All right. Under Yahweh, why Yahweh shine. And like I said, Due to our disobedience, we're now sitting in a low place, okay? And now we're in um, um, a situation where the Israelite woman who has made a, a, a covenant with Esau Edom, right? Even going back into the times of Genesis in the, the Garden of Eden, when Eve was beguiled by the serpent. And she took a hold of that what? That forbidden fruit, which is what? False philosophy. Wicked, uh, a wicked doctrine. A doctrine that's against you. How about Shem Yahweh Shai? Yeah, All right. Slow, slow, slow down, because when you say yeah. serpent, people are yep. literally thinking serpent. Serpent is the actual nation of people. The nation because of people. We, because we, mm -hmm. when you go into the when you go into the Book of Revelation, <coughs> it speaks about the serpent was bound for a thousand years, then he will lose to deceive the nations for a little time. Mm -hmm. The serpent that was bound for a thousand years go back to after the Greco Roman Empire had had fallen to um Septimius Severus. All right, and then you had Israelites that were ruling Europe for over a thousand years because Esau, yep. even the so called white man, woman, and child were living in the Caucasus Mountains, mm -hmm. hence why they call themselves Caucasians. Caucasians. All right, yep. so that's who the real serpent is. All right, the real serpent would be Esau, Edom. Back then, he had pigment because he would be Cain's, he would be Abel's brother, Cain, who slew him. Then, when the Lord put the curse upon him, that curse was leprosy because, hence, when Jacob and Esau was born, Esau had the curse of leprosy. Come. And that's why I told you that Esau was what was was red all over like a hairy garment. Now, people right. would think, you know, Esau came out looking like a like a red werewolf, man. But what he means is <laughs> he had no melanin. He lacked melanin. And when you see Esau eat him today, what you see their 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 skin basically is 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 red due to the blood. The blood shows forth through the skin. And as a brother just brought out, that's that curse of leprosy. OK, that came through the loins of Cain. <coughs> all right. So, 
before before I get into before we get into the lesson, I want to bring out something because we because uh, the title says. Right? Read your comments. Like you never read your comments, bro. Well, let me get. Let me go to the. Uh, you never. I'm in the private comments, chat. Still. I'm in the private. Yo, I have my friend on private chat. <laughs> the comments. Shalom, shalom, Sharon, Yahweh, and shalom, tell Yashalom. Shalom. I still had it on the private chat, man. It's locked. Go ahead. Are you good? You good? So let's go into uh, the book of First Corinthians because as in the days of old, there was an order, a righteous order that Yahweh Shimei Shai set up. So let's go into the book of First Corinthians. First Corinthians 11. And uh, let's see. <clears throat> let's go to verse 3. And it says, but I will have you know that the head of every man is a Mashiach and the head of the woman is the man and the head of a Mashiach is Yahweh. So there was a righteous order, okay, that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai has sent from the beginning, okay? Right. But as we know, if you go into what? Isaiah, just bring out this one precept and I'll let the brother take the floor. If you bring out, if you go into uh, Isaiah, what is it? Uh, three. 3 and 12. Isaiah 3 and 12, due to what? Us being scattered amongst the heathen and us, you know, transgressing the Lord's such commandments, there's a, a, a construed order, a, 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 what's that word? Um, a twisted and, and um, destroyed order now. So if you go into Isaiah 3 and 12, and this is all under the rulership of Esau, Edom, okay? It says, as for my people, Children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Okay? O oh, my people, they which lead thee causes thee to err and destroy the ways of thy path. Okay? And this is all through established through Esau Edom's um um wicked what? Doctrine of feminism. Okay? Right. Because we're under we're living under what? A a, a a cage of feminism. Men can't be masculine. And if they are masculine, it's a crime. And this is why. Esau Edom has a has it to a point where what the woman raises the child. Okay. They call it toxic masculinity. Con you masculinity. All right. They call it toxic, so toxic, toxic masculinity. They call oh, it toxic, toxic, yep, toxic masculinity. masculinity. Con. It's called toxic masculinity. All right. A man can't be a man. A boy can't be a boy. A boy can't grow up to be a man. Okay. It is now what is 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 basically taboo now. It's something that you can't do. Okay, something that's forbidden. All right. So I'm let the brother take the floor. Right. And uh, I'm going to read the chat to the um, Tay Yashawala. Uh, bring that up. Second Thessalonians. Forgive me. Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse eight. And then shall that wicked be revealed whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. And that's beautiful because it says, and um, the brother was saying, when you think about it, the scripture says a new or oh, the Lord shall create a new thing in the earth where a woman yep. shall surpass a man. But the brother just spoke on how Paul said the head of the man is um yeah um Yahweh Yahweh Shai. Well, really, the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh, the head of the man is Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Yahweh Shai, and the head of the woman is the man. And you know, at times I listen to Kevin Samuel, Kevin Samuel said something that I actually do agree with. He told the woman one time, he said, Listen, the children belong to you. You belong to me and I belong to yep. God. And I'm like, wow. Yep. First thing that came to mind was First Corinthians 11 chapter, right? And so the wicked is Esau Edom who, when it goes to um, Isaiah, it says, surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as the potter's clay. That's right. exactly what Esau do. They do everything that's contrary to the scriptures, right? Mm -hmm. So like how they set the woman up on a pedestal, right? That goes back to, um, I had a conversation with my Ephraim, my cousin today. About how women today claim to be independent, but it really was a curse set upon the man, right? Because, like the nation of Israel, we're supposed to be the most highest woman. What did we do? We felt like we could do any and everything we wanted to pump by ourselves. Well, yep. When we was in hell, when we was in Egypt, when we were always under the captivity of the heathen nation, who came to save us? Our husband, which is our maker. Mm -hmm. So, our women today, they feel like they don't need us anymore because they go to the serpent, they go to the heathen for their aid, for their assistance, right? So, this is, um, this is Proverbs chapter 8, verse 4. It says, Unto you, O men, I call, and mm. my voice to the sons of men. So the Lord is speaking directly to the men. 
He's not speaking directly to a woman. Because yep. in the Garden of Eden, did not Yahweh? I'm sorry, let me take that back because the Lord didn't show up until the second um until the um the second verse, you no know, second chapter, which he did speak to um E. I'm sorry, um Adam, forgive me. The Lord spoke directly to Adam, and Adam relayed the commandments and the messages to Eve. He didn't speak to Eve, he spoke yep. to Adam, the man first, okay? The man only at that. So, as you can see, with the woman being put up in the head as the stead, that's a curse upon us. Because mm -hmm. we fell from our glory, from our grace of being Yahweh's um, wife and also by being under the guise of the laws that is the commandments of Israel. But see, what the Lord is doing right now, the Lord is is pretty much, um, how should I say it? We're being born again. We're being um, carnated. Well, I, I can't really say carnated because it's spiritual. We're being spiritually born again through the spirit and through the words of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? And tell you, I shall all draw Ezekiel 34 and 31. And, and ye, my flock of my pasture, are men, and I am your God, saith the yep. Lord God. So yep. that's why the elder apostle Gabar always say, You women will be saved if you have a man of the Lord in by childbearing. So mm -hmm. women are here to understand, know this truth. You know, they they if they feel as if oh the Lord's just dealing with me, the Lord just dealing with me, the Lord just dealing with me. You better pray to the Lord so you're a man of the Lord, because even if you yeah. do understand the truth. In these last days, how can you withstand what's to come if you don't have a man of the Lord? Because mm -hmm. even we seek a protection from Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, but at the end of the day, whenever you have, you know, whenever there's a bump in the night, who do the woman, who do the woman prefer to go out and see who that is? The man. The man. The woman yep. has a flat tire on the side of the yep. road. Would you rather a man or a woman show up? A man. Yep. All right. Whenever um there's um a burglar or incident or you know um a fire, would they rather a woman or a man show up? A man. All right, mm -hmm. whenever there's war, who did they send out? The men, but it also the men have become women as well, too. Because you have you had a man that was a um he was a swimmer, and he was like oh, yeah. hey, he was like right 400 amongst men. Yep. Now he's gonna be a woman, he's number one right now. Number one. <laughs> so yep. you know, Boosie bad at Boosie said, get your ass out of the pool. He said, yep. he said, give the woman no glory. You know, Boosie, he owes some other shit. But I agree with him on that, you know. So certainly your term of, uh certainly your turning the thing upside down should be seen as a part of clay. Because the men of the Lord in these last days, we are truly what Yahweh Yahweh Shai are or um see as their prized possession in these last uh -huh. days that scripture says mm -hmm. as gold is tried is tried as a furnace so so are the acceptable men it doesn't say women mm -hmm. it said the acceptable men last time i checked there was 12 disciples who were men not exactly. women they were men okay when yahweh shy went to the temple and he was he was speaking with the doctors and, and the other wise men elder men when his mother and joseph came to look for him he said me and your father look for you he said woman no you're not i'm about my father's business business come but the fact that his mother he still referred to her as a woman because you are a servant mm -hmm. okay so i just want to speak on that really quick go ahead up beautiful beautiful and to back and to land back off of that that's the spirit because back in first corinthians Oh, we're gonna go first Corinthians 11. I'm gonna start at verse 8, and it says, For the man is not of the woman, but mm -hmm. the woman of the man. Mm -hmm. Going back to what you just said, you said that what? Um, that we're the wife until you until Yahweh Shai. Okay, Yahweh Shai is that bridegroom, and we was the wife, we was compared to what a, a calmly woman, but we trespassed the Lord. But the Lord right. made us for him, just like how he made the woman for the man. Okay, right. First Corinthians 11 and 8 says, For the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Okay, right. so there's an order to things. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is not the author of confusion. Okay, he placed an order. All right, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man, woman, and children. All right, but that's, that's yep, you have something to say? No, I'm just saying, right. Oh, okay. Yep, this is this is, this is actually part of the precepts that we're gonna bring out. Yeah, this is Isaiah, that's right that's Isaiah point. thirteen and twelve. Beautiful. I will make a man. Okay, I will make a man more precious. Now, most importantly, who the the hopefully elect men of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? right, let's 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 throw that in because that's facts. Isaiah thirteen and twelve. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even. That's, that means even more, even more so, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And like you, like the brother just brought out, 
when that bump is in the night, okay, none of these women are gonna throw on their Wonder Woman outfits and go check it out. All right, they're gonna they're gonna say, hey, they're gonna say, hey, 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 you know, I put myself in your your rum, you go check that out. All right, when that tire fall off the when that tire fall off the car, they're gonna be looking at me. When that engine needs to be changed, when that oil needs to be changed, they're gonna be like looking at me like. You know, right? Hey, you know, hey, I, hey. Uh -huh. last, last time I checked, a woman with four or five engine nails can't change a tire or oil. Oh man, <laughs> nope, nope. So that's beautiful. Again, Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man, uh, than the golden wedge of Ophir. And this is all gonna happen during what during Jacob's troubles. And right. also, I can't even say that because, yes. When the, when the when Jacob's troubles come upon, it's going to be the climax. Well, we're going to go into Isaiah four and one, but even more so, like even now, you have a lot of judgment falling on these women, and I was like, yo, it's not coincidence. The more these women become even more prideful, the more articles you see of the judgment being placed on these women, man. Right. Okay, and it's like it's like I see this all the time, and you know we watch the red pill content, so every time they put out. A video of girls saying, you know, I, I got seven guys and I got one guy for this, one guy for that. And then the article comes out where well, this chick was dragged. Uh, I put a video out not too long ago. We saw that what? A man came out and grabbed the woman off camera and had his way with her. All right. So you have all these women saying, I'm strong. I'm independent. I don't need a man. I'm fierce. I am woman. Hear me roar. But yet when they fall into these certain positions, they they they're taking advantage of, you know. Where's that power? Where 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 is that? Where is that might? Where is that superhuman, uh, female action star prowess? You know, <laughs> movies, man. And, 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 it's all know, in the movies. And, and I was listening to the comedian Corey Holcomb. He said something that's real. He was like, "What women don't understand today is that there are men out here that when they see you wearing those provocative, oh yep, attire, that provocative attire." It's in a man mind, he really want to just grab that woman and have his way with her. But because there are laws in steel, yep. that don't happen. See, they forget we're animals. We're mammals. There mm -hmm. is a time when a woman is in heat, especially around spring break. Women damn near wear only two pieces of clothing. And some women need to wear Islamic gear the way their bodies built it, but that's another story. So what I'm saying, so what I'm saying is that they're pretty much like like a dream dairy in the heat, and a man mm -hmm. will go after that when he see that when he see her exactly. assets, hence the word mm -hmm. assets, assets, right? But because we have this, because the man has civilized society, women can gather abroad. But even the Bible says, "Give not a woman liberty to gather abroad," mm -hmm. because now these women through feminism have sexual liberty our women today the women would matter that the mark the modern woman today they have um they have pretty much the women are the sexual selectors of our species so therefore oh. i don't care about their choices nor the opportunities because now you can choose who you want to sleep with mm -hmm. so when you are mentally emotionally and physically damaged because you chose to make these certain choices. Don't wait till you get to your early 30s and your late 30s saying, Where are all the where are all the good men? You have always had those good men trying to get at you, but because you want to go chase Chad, you want to mm -hmm. go chase Tyrone and Enrique or Abdul or Chan, yep. now you're over here looking stupid because all they did was use you. Because that's yep. the way you presented yourself. What what the modern day woman has done today, they have diminished they have devalued the value and there's if there's children listening cover their ears they have devalued the value of pussy yep. because they allow a man to insert their penis inside of them have his way with them without mm -hmm. getting married though we don't believe in marriage but you're just casually having sex and then you expect that man to to be with you for the rest of your life right and now all of these women out here are single with no men. So then when shit does hit the fan, they won't have enough toilet paper to clean this shit up. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like the brother just put, con super bad choices when the men <laughs> used to give them away and we did it based on wisdom. Exactly. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yep. Words yep. of wisdom right there. I got Calm. a piece up for that too. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Real quick. And then I'm, I'm, I'm going to give it over to you, brother. I just want to yep. bring really no quick. Problem. This is all um, the book of the book of Sirach, verse yep. chapter 7, verse 23. 
hast thou children, instruct them, and bow mm -hmm. down their neck from their youth. Hast thou daughters? And so shalt thou have, so forgive me, has thou daughters have a care of their body, mm. their body, and shew not thyself cheerful toward them. And yep. it's, it, that's true because I, I'm going to name five things that a true man of the Lord really values in a woman. Her youth, her beauty, her fertility, mm -hmm. her being submissive, and her cooperation. That's Come. what a man of the Lord truly wants in a woman. But her body is key. When a woman say, "Oh, why y'all, why y'all have body counts? Why y'all have body counts?" I mean, does do not men today? Well, I would say, really, the modern men today they brag about how many women they have smashed. Yep. But women don't really brag about that unless they are proud to be a harlot. That's why you ask women, how many, "Oh, they don't." Oh, what do you mean? Why you care? Why you mm -hmm. see they get offensive because they know a man truly cares about that. How uh -huh. many men have you? How many? Men, how many arrows have you opened your quiver to? That that has value to it because yep. because the more men a woman lay down with, she can't pair bond. She can't pair bond anymore. So every relationship she have after that, it will cease to exist or or, or stay in the time of of uh, of longevity because you have so you have so much DNA inside of you on your body that your body can't connect with that one man. Yep. So pretty much they produce children like Freddy Krueger. If you had watched the, if you had watched the beginning of Friday the Thirteenth, <coughs> first one, what happened? Freddy Krueger's mother was R word. I ain't gonna say the word. It was R word by all those mentally ill men, and yeah. then came out Freddy Krueger. So all that genetic DNA of those men produced that child. So when a woman has sex with all these different men and give birth to a child, that child will carry on the DNA of all the men she had in her previous life. Wow. I mean, I'm sorry, in her previous life, in her life in the past. Uh -huh. All right. So let me continue on. So Rock Seven and 25. Maybe thy daughter, like the brother was saying, I wish he didn't take that down, but I got you. He said, said con super, it said, um, con super bad choices when the men used to give them away, and we did it based on wisdom, right? Maybe thy daughter, which means give her off, and so shall thou have performed a weighty matter, but give her to a man of understanding because women don't understand your property. When you're yep. born under the household of your father, you have your father's last name. When your father gives you over to your husband, you take on his last name because now he's the owner of you, meaning that mm -hmm. he has to take care of you now. And now you have a weighty matter off of your head. Okay? That's all I wanted to bring up. That's that's beautiful. And that's beautiful too, man. Because um, going back to what you uh, put in Ciroc, um, let me get this off here. Yeah, I see. That's another one too. Oh, this is another one too. Yeah, let me bring this out and I bring out mine. This is Sirach 25 and 19. It says, All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman, let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. And this goes back to what I just said about how the more the more prideful these women these women become, the more judgment is laid upon them. Okay, because they see feminism and whoredom as something little, something minuscule. Like you said, when a brother asks, when a man asks a woman, your body kind of like well, that doesn't matter. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be worried about that. But a man is worried about that. And something just sparked in me through the spirit, Ark. It's like when you said that all the DNA of different men in that same woman. So when a man is with that woman and they go through arguments, it's not that you're against that woman, but you're also against those other men that's that that, that the DNA is inside of her. So you're going against like vibrations. 10 other men. You go exactly you going exactly. against 10 other spirits, man. Right. You you right. you try to bring some order into the household, and the chick is even like looking at you like, I'm not gonna submit to you. I'm not gonna listen to you. You know you're going against her and ten different men. You know what hey, I'm saying? And that <laughs> remind me too. Uh, I don't know if you ever saw the movie called the movie Baby Boy with Tyrese, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, there was a scene when um his OG homeboy, I guess he was staying at his girl's house with her mother, and he was like, "Man, y'all treat me right. Y'all give me food. You know, y'all give me games to play." And I'm gonna yeah. say the word, but you know, he said, I ain't gonna call y'all bitches anymore. I'm gonna call y'all unstable creatures. You know, at first I, yeah, 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 yeah. When I got older and I got to the truth. It's like it's so true. If you're mm -hmm. dealing with a woman that has a past with a lot of men, she's gonna be unstable, man. The exactly. women are receptors, that's why they have a sheep, which is a vagina. Uh, that's why we give women gifts. That's why mm -hmm. we always that's why they say a man will hey we'll slay a dragon, we'll climb a mountain, we'll go in the depths of a volcano and bring all those riches and spoils back to who? Our woman. Your woman. 
Yep. Exactly. Also says that what? That many have gone out there with women, become right. servants, sinned, and perished, man. For that box. <laughs> you know, for that for that box, man. That when you when your butt is gone, she's gonna give that box to somebody else. To somebody else. <laughs> you know? Sophia come oh, first, man. but you know, let's get back to the lesson, man. This is Sirach. I want to bring this out. This is Sirach. Chapter 26 and verse 10. And it says, if thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly. That means discipline her. Okay. And it says, lest she abuse herself to over much liberty. Okay. Going back to what? The sexual liberation movement. Mm -hmm. Now think about this, Ak. Ah. See, I wouldn't have such a problem with it if they were actually doing constructive things. You know? But it's like, as soon as they receive liberty, Ak, it's just straight whoredom. That's it. It's like, is, is that the power? You know, is that the superpower you have? Is whoredom? That's it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's all over the place. All right. Mm -hmm. but this is why it says, I'm going to read it again. Sirach 26 and verse 10. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through over much liberty. Verse 11. Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. So now think about this. You're gonna, for example, you got a daughter in this society, in this, in this, in this society here. You raise her up the best you the best you can. But then guess what? She's gonna go to high school. She, then she's eventually gonna go to college. So when she comes back looking like Amber Rose, <laughs> don't marvel at it. Because a man that knows the scriptures actually understands what's going on. Okay? Yeah, so when she does stupidity, perfect example, um, Floyd Floyd Mayweather's daughter. I who is she she got she got a baby by a rapper, and the rapper publicly dumped her. Okay? Dumped her behind. All right. This is all over. This was all over, like I think last year. And I forgot his name. I don't know if it was Blueface or whatever. But um Oh, that fool. Yeah. But she pridefully was taking pictures, had a baby shower with the baby, so on and so forth, you know, blah, 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 blah. You know, basically tarnishing Floyd Mayweather's name. Okay, that's a perfect example. So it says, watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. And verse 12 says, and you also brought this up as well. It says she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler. And I believe Manak the Zappa put out a video not so long ago that says beware of the thirsty traveler and it showed that chick that had like the 12 boyfriends bro that chick bro she like yep. every other weekend she had a different dude bro from exactly any any, any nation on earth she was with that dude bro yep. and that's a prime example that woman right there would never be satisfied with one man and she would never be able to have a steady relationship for the rest of her life because yep. her pair bonding is fried mm -hmm. it you is know? hypergamy yep. she is she's hypergamy, hypergamy man, man. You know? So verse 12 says, she will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when he had found a fountain. So when you think about a man that's thirsty, as soon as he sees some water, his mouth is like, ah, I'm thirsty, you know? He's, what's that, what's that, um, they always say, oh, he thirsty, you know? <laughs> she thirsty, so. She's she thirsty. Willing to, yeah, she willing to drink from that man's fountain just so she can get what she want. Exactly. Right. And it says, and drink of every water near her by every hedge will she sit down and open her quiver against every arrow. Going back to that chick that had 12 dudes, 13 dudes, all right? Right. So it's telling the man, when you have daughters, you're supposed to keep them in straightly, discipline them, all right? Through the, through the law, sessions, commands of the scriptures. And if she goes out and does what she want to do, don't marvel at it, all right? Don't be like, oh, man, I can't believe it, blah, 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 because the scriptures tell you so, all I right? You. And this is a good scripture, a uh, good precept by Te Yasharala. I'm going to bring this out. This is Job 39 and 17. Because Yahweh hath deprived her of wisdom, neither hath he imparted to her understanding. See that? So she's going to be tossed to and fro with a doctrine, a, a, a corrupt doctrine. Because why? Because she's based on emotion. She's not using wisdom. She's not using the understanding to what? To, to righteously discern the good from the evil. So that's a, a beautiful scripture, man. These women have no, no wisdom at all, man. Okay, I mean, perfect example. I, what what was it? Uh, it's all over, it's all over the news now, man. About this Eve that's up there in the in with in the courts. I think she's a judge, and the Shedemite says define the word woman. She can't even do that. 
<laughs> you, you, you mean you mean to tell me you went through law school and got your PhD and all this crap? <laughs> yeah, Kevin Samuels, I'm a PhD. You did all this hard work to get up in a position, all right? And you can't even explain something so simple, okay? And you know what it is, too, I, It's that pride because if she would have right. said a woman is a servant, the sisterhood would be like, oh, hell no. <laughs> you know? They would have canceled them. Like, oh, that's wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Uh-huh. Exactly, man. But see, exactly. But see, but see, now I have to play devil's advocate because, yeah. the, you know, we got to deal with a balance here. Uh-huh. I don't know what man is. There's rarely, rarely a man that's with a woman today that he was her first. So technically, by the law, if the woman, if a woman is not with the first man she lay with, by <clears> law <throat> she's a harlot. But Come. at the end of the day, even the scripture speaks about uh, a woman who is a harlot. Like I said, it, you, you got to take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. Even the scripture says a woman that is a harlot, she shall be saved as well. Let me get that really quick. I got a couple pieces. Come, come, come. Yep. I, I had to play double advocate. We had to keep a balance here. You know, it's not like balance, we're just balance. roasting women, but the come. modern woman today, because at the end of the day, even Paul said, if you have a wife and she want to be with you, then be with her. That's if you mm -hmm. marry, if you have a woman. If you got a woman today, man, that's with you and I love you, and she know what you do, man, call her loyal lady. How about well, she? About she about it would be very hard to find a woman like that. You know, mm -hmm. even my estranged wife, she had to come to her sisters and be like, damn, how the hell I've been with, how the hell I've been without you for two years? Don't worry about it. Just get right and stay tight. You know, oh. so this is um this is Matthew. This is Matthew chapter 21, verse 31. I'm gonna start at 30. And he came to the second and said, Likewise, and he answered and said, I go, sir, and went not. Whether of them twain did the will of his father, they say unto him, the first year, how shall I say it to them? Barely I say unto you that the publicans and the harlots go into the kingdom of God before you. Mm -hmm. Speaking against those who didn't believe. So let's say, for, for one, and think about a woman who's been out there promiscuous. She kind of find out that that's not right according to the law, but she repent yep. and turn to the Lord. She can't be saved. Just like a Jake who probably been selling dope, probably was a jack boy, or probably who took somebody's life. The Lord was still yep. forgetting the Paul did the same thing with Stephan. Mm -hmm. He thought what he was doing was righteous, but it wasn't. Remember what Yahweh said, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? And it's hard for thee to kick against the prince. Because he said, if you do it to one of these little ones, you do it unto me. He was persecuting uh. the church because he's Yahweh Shai, right? So mm -hmm. even a murderer could be forgiven. Even a harlot could be forgiven, right? A woman yep. that had multiple men that, you know, that she laid down with. So this is John chapter 8, verse 5. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned, but what sayest thou? This they said, tempting him, that they might have to accuse him. But Yahweh shall stoop down and with his finger wrote on the ground as though he heard them not. So when they continued asking him, he lifted up himself and said unto them, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone mm. at her. Talking about the harlot. Yep. And again, he stooped down and wrote on the ground. And they which heard it being convicted by their own conscience, like Paul says, mm -hmm. conscience bear witness. So I can sit here and talk about women like that, but hell, I've done things in my life that I've that I know is worthy of death. Same here. Right? Hell, just just keep freaking Christmas and with me not keep it know, real. You yep. know, without me smoking weed and all of that. Yep. Me laying down with a woman, though I may not have known because I never laid down with a woman that had to do even before I came into the no. truth. But hey, if I wasn't her yeah, first, technically, I'm, I'm laying down with another man's wife. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm guilty as well, too, right? Playing devil's advocate right here. Oh. From beginning at the elders, even until the last, and yeah, I'm sorry, convicted by the own conscience, went out one by one, beginning at the elders, even until the last, and your house shall be left alone, and the woman standing in the midst, which was a harlot. I should have read mm -hmm. her a little um, above it, but I didn't want to be too long. When your shall had lifted up himself and saw none but the woman, he said unto her, Woman, where are those thine accusers? Have no man condemned thee? She said, No man, Lord. And Yahweh shall say unto her, Neither do I condemn thee. Go and sin no more. No more. That's the point. Yep. Sin no yep. more. That's Beautiful. The so we all Beautiful. are falling um, short of the glory of Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, right? Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, the man is still the prize. And that's what these modern day women who don't believe don't seem to realize. You know, so you know, uh -huh. you can segue back into the men now. 
Beautiful, beautiful. And just to land back off of that too, because you're saying that a harlot, you know, a harlot can, once she comes back into repent, all right, and actually does what she's supposed to do as, you know, being discreet and chaste, as it says in what, in Titus, uh, Titus, the second chapter, and she what? And she comes back into the, into the man of the Lord and becomes his wife. All right. So this is Sirach, uh, Sirach 25 and 1. It says, in three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful be both before Yahweh and men. The unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agree together. So when the harlot repents and she clings on to a man of the Lord and follows the way of Yahweh by Shem Shai, she is now what? His help me, his wife. And they agree together in one mind, right following after one doctrine. All right. Which is the doctrine of Yahweh by Shem Shai. So that's a beautiful thing. Because, because they're one flesh. They're one flesh, man. Uh-huh. You know, beautiful. so they're in one accord, being one flesh, you know. So uh so if, if I may segue back nah, to nah. how the men, how how we are the prize, pretty much. Yep. This is um first John chapter two. Uh is it chapter two? Forgive me. First John chapter two verse uh, right here. Boom. First yep. John chapter two verse twelve. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you for His name's sake. I write unto you, fathers, mm. because you have known Him that is from the beginning. I write unto you, young men. Because ye have overcome the wicked one. Mm. I write unto you, little children, because ye have known the fathers. Yep. I have written unto you, fathers, because ye have known him that is from the beginning. I have written unto you, young men, had to say it twice, because ye are strong, and the word of God abideth in you, and ye have overcome the wicked one. And you Beautiful. know what you know this remind me of? Going back to Genesis, who fell. For the serpent, Eve. Eve. In the end, we overcome in the wicked one. And see, yep. and a woman who's spiritual, which by God, that's a that's a miracle. A modern <laughs> woman today who's spiritual, spiritual. That we're gaining our power back through the spirit of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, not by yep. laws, not by legislations, not by protesting. No, by preaching, by professing, mm -hmm. by being prophetic. By standing fast in, in the righteousness of the spirit. A woman that sees that, she will adore that. A woman mm -hmm. that fears your house, she will adore that, man. You know? Yep. And that's beautiful, man. Because at the end of the day, that's what the scriptures say. That a man should be uh, as, as fine gold, man. More precious than the wedge of Ophir. Because in those times of trouble, when right. women see that the men of the Lord have what? That's uh, wisdom, knowledge, and stability. The strength of salvation, right? Which is going to what? Keep us mentally and 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 spiritually stable in those times. They're gonna right. well, they're gonna freaking cling on to that because women, what they do is they cling on to the power. Right now, Esau Edom is in that power seat because Yahweh Bashim Shai set Esau Edom above us as a form of punishment. And what Esau has done is back into the book of Genesis, man, that Eve was beguiled. You know, she saw that 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 philosophy as a gift the scriptures tell us in what in uh i think it's ecclesiastes 7 to 7 that um a gift destroys the heart so it destroys the mind okay oppression make it a wise, make it a wise man, man mad and it the gift destroys the heart Con. Right. and that's what happened you know as a matter of fact let's get a precept on that let's go into uh let's go into sirach uh chapter 20 and verse 29 check this out it says, presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Now, this is, yes, this is talking about men, but this also goes into what? What happens with the women? The women receive what? Finan uh, financial aid in college, child support, alimony, um, um, what, uh, heat assistance, rent assistance, all, type of, all types of assistance from the government. But what's the catch? You can't have a man in the house. Especially a man of understanding. So they kick the man out the house and they offer the woman all these gifts, basically saying, What? You don't need the man, but rely on me. Okay, which is the serpent. The serpent means what? The deceiver. And Esau Edom is that great deceiver. 
All right. And Revelations tells you what? That he deceiveth the whole world with his philosophy. All right. With 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 uh, Cesare Borgia and also with these gifts that he gives to these women so they don't have to depend on their man. And also that does what? That destroyed the, uh, the family structure. OK, this is why it talks about what? A new thing upon the earth, a woman shall compass a man. And at this point, the women are on top. And like you brought it out in the beginning, that the women are put on these pedestals. All right. So presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. OK, so when you we basically when you receive these gifts, man, it turns you it turns you away from from wisdom and it turns you away from that path of righteousness, especially with these women. You got it up. Yeah, I'm for the um Tay. I saw I'm a chat dude, man. I like chat. That's okay. I'm a, I'm gonna get to the chat right now. I connect with the people, bro. Tay had dropped Sarat 25, 24. Of oh, the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Right. Go back to Eve. You know what yep. happened in the garden. Numbers one and eighteen, and they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees, pedigrees. Yep. After their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their pole. And that's something that these small hats today, they will say, oh, we're descended from our mother. No, yep. the man carried the seed. When you go into the etymology of the word sperm, go back to the word sperma, um, which goes back to, um, I think it's Raza, which means seed. Because we plant the seed, even in even the five percenters said that the Eve, the woman, is their earth because the woman yep. is the soil. She's the incubator. We mm -hmm. we plant our seeds inside of her. Then, you know, it it, 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 it penetrates the egg. Then it starts to form. Right. Because we have the life. Because if an egg is if an egg isn't. um, What's what I say? Um, fermented, if I want to say. Is, is it fermented or no, not fermented, germinated, as they say, yep. with the seed. If, if it's not germinated, right, so to say. I think it's sure, yeah, what yeah. happens when the woman bleeds and she just yep. give off that menstrual cycle but a man can walk around for a whole month and not ejaculate and yep. have so much power power strength so much confidence so much yep. strength so much focus because it's a life source because your body's like it's been damn near two weeks and you haven't ejaculated so we're just going to absorb this energy back into you mm -hmm. that's why abstinence is such a powerful thing you know because it, it man, it really gives you life. It's fertilized. Fertilized, uh, fertilized. There we go. Fertilize. Well, I was thinking yep. about back, you know, plants. You know, you know, you take a, you take a seed and you put yep. water on it, you put it into a you put it into a napkin and it germinates, you know. Yep. That's what I was thinking about. I took the wrong word, the water for that though. Fertilize, right? Mm -hmm. But um so and you had brought up that priest. Can you bring that priest up out again, Baba Kusha? Nah. Which were the numbers? The one you had bought out earlier, the one that you bought out earlier. Oh, so uh Sirach 20, uh, I think Sirach 20. Let me get that again. Sirach 20, and I believe it's uh Sirach 20 and 29. It says, Presents and gifts blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove. Right. And when you, I know you, you you went right into the woman getting those gifts from the government, which is true. You know, I mean, we, we pretty much all dealt with the woman. I want to speak yeah, to yeah, the yeah. Men now, if you want to. I'm just saying. Yep, the men. Yep. You know, I'm following you. But I thought about these Israelite groups that had to have 501 c three charters. They God, had yep. bag orders could they get in these gifts, these bags from the government. And what that does, that uh, misconstrue and that sways judgment. Yep. Righteous judgment. Um, prophecies, right? That goes against what Yahweh, what Yahweh has in store for the future, because they have they can't speak on certain things as well, right? Mm -hmm. So those who are those type of men who are who are of the circumcision, their mouths must be stopped Come. because they are also the ones that's perpetuating the women also being, you know, in a certain stead with the men. Like I remember on um, priests of Bach. He used to do his um camp out in New York, and yes, like, about, he had yeah. women laying down, but not was sitting in lounge chairs. Yo, when well, you're out preaching yep. the word, you're in spiritual warfare. Anything can happen. You H -O -Y. are in, you are not in a control environment, and the women are laying down. They, I keep saying laying down, but they damn near are in lounge chairs. They got their head wrapped. They got their um, the, you know, their dresses on and everything. That mm -hmm. ain't right. And then you got Bishop Nathaniel. 
Bishop Nate Daniel from IUIC. <laughs> his wife made yep. a book called my son Noah's understand is what thou readest. His wife had a book called that. Yo, oh, fool, his wife. Do you understand what you are reading? Hold on, hold on, hold on. His, his, his wife wrote a wife book? made a book saying, understand is what thou readest. Going back to Acts the oh, 8th gosh, chapter. I, mean, I, I can't make it up. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Boastful, you know, man. The men of the Lord that feel how about Shimei and Shai, we're the men that's going to be like, um, that's going to be like fine gold. Fine and gold. Shit. Men like Bishop Nathaniel and um uh, General Yohanna Ayu of ISUPK, they're not warning their congregation. So when the mm -hmm. shit hits the fan and, and there's not enough toilet paper or plumbers to clean it up, they're gonna be looking for answers. But because they was um shepherds for hire, they gonna, wow. they go they gonna come looking for their heads, you know. Yep. So um I got yep. a piece up. This is um Isaiah 32 and 1. Behold, a king shall reign in righteousness. Mm. And princes shall rule in judgment. A man shall be as in hiding place from the wind, yep. from the destruction to come, and a covert from the tempest, as a Ooh. river of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. Yep. So we are going to be. A uh, a thirst to a, a woman that's a woman who we're gonna be a quench to a woman that's thirsty. We're Come. gonna be uh, a uh, a shade to a woman in a weary land where there is no shade. We're gonna be an oasis to a woman in the desert, not a mm -hmm. mirage, an oasis. See, right now, TD TD snakes, Clefto, take your dollar, Joel Osteen, uh, Bishop <laughs> McDaniel, yep. and um. General Yohana of ISUPK and Sakari and, and, and um Rakar of GOCC. Right now, the women, they all see them as mirages. Mm. But as we get closer and closer to the prophecies really coming to, to fruition, to, to this full apex, they're going to realize they're just a mirage. When we huh. truly was the oasis the whole time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because yep. these, the we we, these are the times we're coming into, man. Yep, you know? exactly. Exactly. That Virgin Mary, that Virgin Mary Roman Catholic spirit. Virgin Mary Catholic. Catholic. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes, it is. Virgin yes, Mary. It is. <laughs> I mean, they're called what? <laughs> well, it's united in Christ, right? <laughs> Which has nothing to do with the scriptures, man. Well, that's beautiful because you brought out, you brought out something uh, that was very important. You brought out that, 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 um, to the spirit, um, that, that 50, was it 501c3? Yes, sir. That 501c3 contract, man. And going back to those gifts, those, those, those wicked gifts, man. Check this out. This is Ezekiel 22 in verse 12. And it says, in thee have they taken gifts to shed blood. Thou hast taken usury as, I mean, Salakia. Thou hast taken usury and increase. And thou hast greedily gained of thy neighbors by extortion. And has forgotten me, saith the Lord. Your Lord. And that's what they do. You said, you said that the woman that's that's out there sees them as mirages. That means what? A mirage is like an illusion, right? That's Thank not you. the truth. Thank you. You're extorting. You're extorting people that's coming into the ministry, telling them you got to pay a hundred dollars for a freaking um, what they uh, uh, those parties that they throw. Okay, you're giving them, <laughs> you're giving, <laughs> you're giving them false doctrine. Okay, right. so on and so forth, just having pure confusion. You're, you're, you're having parties like we're in the kingdom when the scriptures say that it's better to go into the house of mourning than to the house of feasting. All right, it's right. not the time to feast, it's not the time to play around because we're entering into some dangerous times. All right, so like it says here, it says taking gifts to shed blood. So when it comes to think about this, it comes to the weaker vessel, you that's their blood on your hands now. Especially the men that's in the congregation that follow after you. Okay? Right. Because we're supposed to be a watchman unto Israel and warning them. That's what we're supposed to be doing. Not telling them to go have parties and not telling them to have of of um the um go to clubs on the solemn assemblies. Okay. This Yo, is a good uh, I'm gonna know, bring this I don't up. Know what, I don't know what burgers no. and fries have to do with the scriptures. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, if that's no. scripture to back that up, you know, please let me know. Yeah, yeah find, I, find that preset for me, man. Right, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what mac and cheese 
and cornbread at the Passover got to do with the Passover? I mean, just, uh -huh. please, please let me know. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. It's, 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 it's ridiculous, man. Even even when I remember Bishop Nathaniel was selling breakdowns of the scriptures on his page. Like, he'll mm -hmm. give you the first portion, then, like, buy the rest of the breakdown for $49.99. Your house shall say, freely you have received, freely you should give. Freely give. And that which is told you in secret, preach amongst the house toss. Uh -huh. Man, boy, I don't like that. You know, but the, the Lord got that number. And they ain't talking nah, about the cell phone number either. $49 for a breakdown. $49.99. <laughs> Get it now. You know what I mean? Yo, this is your house. This is, listen, this is why your house is like going to come back, man. Because he, well, he already, when he was on earth, he flipped over the tables and started freaking whipping people saying that you will not make my house a den of thieves, man. Turn my father's house. He said, turn my fa turn not my father's house into a house of merchandise. House and of merchandise. Come on, come on. The damn come on, come on. Shit. House of merchandise, man. That's what you're doing. You're turning, you're turning into a house of merchandise, charging $49 for a freaking breakdown, okay? You're charging people to come in for a solemn, a solemn assembly? Come on now. Come on now. And the people follow it. The scriptures tell us what in Sirach. Make not that self an underling to a foolish man. <laughs> Come on, man. That's a good one. Come on. The brother just brought out Isaiah 47 and 9. I'm going to read this. It says, but these two things shall come to thee in a moment in one day. Right? That day of judgment. And it right. says, the loss of children and widowhood. They shall come upon thee in their perfection for the multitude of thy sorceries. Finish it off. Yep. And for the great abundance of thine enchantments. And, th and think about this. We already know that in the book of Revelations that Esau even deceiveth the whole world. That means the whole world is under the enchantments. And the enchantment that we're specifically talking about now is what? That feminist and sexual liberal movement. Right. Okay. Yeah, and, and also if I may add, let's just you know I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go a different route with that. Come think about think about a crystal ball. You know, when you think about a crystal ball, all right, cut your TV off, cut your phone off, cut your computer off. You see a black screen, right? That's a crystal yep. ball. Yep, crystal exactly. Ball. So that's also an enchantment. Cause they got mm -hmm. something called television programming. When you break that down, television, tell yep. lies. Through visions, vision, and it was, but today to break all that down, it's called propaganda. Propaganda, it's called propaganda, right? So they their enchantments goes back to their technology as well. Even when you go back to the pharmaceutical companies, right? They're making billions, right? Go back, break down the word pharmaceutical. Pharmacia mm -hmm. goes back to witchcraft. Well, what the hell does a witch do? A witch will have a big cow drone throwing a rabbit's yep. tail, a toad's tongue, whatever, sprinkle some fairy dust in there, and then <laughs> stirring it up, right? Uh -huh. That concoction messes with your mind. It messes up your hormone. It imbalances your hormones and the chemicals inside your body. So people become addicted to that ish. Yep. It, it, it's some kind of enchantment upon them, man. Think about mm -hmm. all the people dying off of fentanyl. See, that's big because a lot of Edomites are dying off of it. But what happened when they had the crap pandemic? They man, that's uh, the worst thing in the world. What about yep. all the people dying off of fentanyl? We don't own mm -hmm. no fucking laboratories. Why y'all not? Why not y'all not condemning them? Damn devils! That's ahead, beautiful for the spirit. That's beautiful for the spirit. You said that when you when you said laboratory, the spirit put something on me because when you think about it, Ock. The the, 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 the the heroin and the fentanyl and the coke and cocaine, that's all part of what they call alchemy. Okay? Now full check this out. Alchemist. Full metal this alchemist. Full, full, full metal alchemist, man. <laughs> <laughs> but check this out. This right, is the right, same right. Thing that Babylon is also spiritual Egypt. Check this out. It says Exodus, it's Exodus 7 and 11. Then Pharaoh also called the wise men and the sorcerers. Now the magicians of Egypt they also did in like manner with their enchantments. This is why right. Babylon is called spiritual Egypt because everything is based on lies. Oh, I like that. That was a good one. Oh, good. Good one. Okay. Good. All these different movements, BLM, the feminist movement, the sexual liberal movement, all this other 
crap, man, that has nothing to do with scriptures. Outside of the scriptures are what? Are are, are vain things, okay? Profane. That will come Profane. Profane, all right? This is beautiful. Uh, Tay just put this out. Yeah, that's a good one. He got. Titus, good one. Titus 1 to 10. For there are many uh, unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Going back to what you just brought out, uh, 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 um, Nathaniel, all right? Even, even, um, uh, TD Snakes and Creflo Dollar, because they know who they are according to the scriptures, okay? Hey, I'll, I'm going to back you up on that one. Yep. And the Pastor Bar always say this. In order for you to tell a lie, you must know what? What's that? The truth. In order for you to tell a lie, you must know Yeah, yeah, the truth. Yep. You got to know the truth better. to tell a lie. They know better. That's what the Come. Power 1CT Charter stands for. A gag order. Yep. yep. Let me scroll down to this one. This is Titus 1 and, 1 and 11. And it says, whose mouth must be stopped, which you brought out to the Spirit. Who subvert whole houses, teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. Going back to that, going back to the to the contract, going back to taking those shekels from Pharaoh, just like Judas Iscariot did. Okay? They're betrayers. They're betrayers of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. They come up some other way. They are a thief and a robber. All right. They turn what? The house of the of, of, of the Lord into merchandise. And this is how. They're going to be punished, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is going to bring that, that rod of anger, that rod of indignation upon them. Because guess what? They're not that precious out, man. All right? They're not the men of the Lord who's going to be seen as precious uh, uh, offer and fine gold. Okay? Right. So that's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful um, switch about the brother. Yeah, that was a beautiful piece of man. I've been sitting there too. Yep. So now, you got anything else, Ock? Uh, um, just to the spirit, I just want to, yeah. um, if you don't mind, keep going. You got it. Yeah, I mean, it's you know, just a couple more, if I may. Yep. Because, like we say, the men of the Lord, they are whom Yahweh is dealing with. Not saying the Lord is not showing any signs to the women, but even when you go into the word prophetess, a prophetess mm -hmm. really is the wife of a prophet. So a man of the Lord that has a woman and she has dreams that she believes, she technically is a prophetess because she is the wife of a prophet. Of a prophet. Beautiful. So nonetheless, though, uh, if you really have, if you really think about it, most brothers who have women who don't believe, nine times out of ten, it just won't work, and eventually they'll fizzle out. Mm -hmm. You know, but a brother that has a woman that do believe, she really, I mean, that woman really is blessed because uh. she has a far greater chance. Of survival than any other woman out here. I mean, let alone the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Yep. But she's attached to a man of the Lord because remember, through mm -hmm. marriage, which is sex, you become one flesh. Because mm -hmm. the Lord has already forgiven that woman from her past, already forgiven that man from their past. So technically, you're born again. So yep. technically, you're supposed to be a new creature. Mm -hmm. So now this is a new beginning for that man and that woman. So Koho yep. Logan like how about Shimao Shai? Well, yeah, technically, yeah, I could say it to Yahweh Shai too for Yahweh Shai, yep. making himself a living sacrifice for us. Ah, right. That's the glory of it all. Because when you look at it, we we had nothing to do with us being called, bro. Yep. He chose us. He chose us. He said, You have not chosen me, I have chosen you. Mm -hmm. I I mean, think about this truth and the whole the whole sum of it all. I, I I I ran across the truth around 2009. The first time I made myself a living sacrifice was 2013 in March. Looking at it right now, man, the water how about she mount shine? Because where the hell would I be right now in a society? I know what I'd be doing. I'd be somewhere living off in the woods, away from society, yep. with my country woman, with my children, teaching everybody how to hunt, how to start a fire. How to purify water? If you, I would have been doing because that's the mentality I had before mm -hmm. the Lord snatched me out of all of those classes. And guess what? I would have just died here in Babylon. I would have been yeah. one of those um hoarders. I would have been one of those um people with a with a bunk, you know, living out in the woods. I, I would have been one of people who buying this. all these bullets, buying all these guns, buying bow yep. and arrows. I would have had a bull master. I would have had canine. I would have had um Rottweilers. I would have had pit bulls. I would have had German shepherds. I would have I, I would have been doing all of that. Yep. I would have had booby traps around my house and all of that. 
come to find out, that don't mean that ain't nothing without the Rawa Khakwadash, man. You know, yes, so yeah. I think it's a beautiful thing, man. This the 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 stat that we have, you know, and um, I, I mean, I don't really have any more else to say about it, but I'm gonna mm-hmm. bring out um this one precept though. If you want, you could bring out um first first John three and one for me. Come and the second chapter is this, I mean the second verse as well. Then I'm gonna close out with a precept. All right. First John three and one. And it says, This is first John chapter three and verse one. And it says, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of Yahweh. Not the daughters, therefore, not the yep. daughters, the sons of Yahweh. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, brother. Therefore, the world knoweth us not because it knew him not. Right. Verse two Beloved, now are we the sons of Yahweh, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, Yahweh Shai, right. we shall be like him, for mm. we shall see him as he is. So when Yahweh Shai come back, like it says, he shall not meet us as a man. So in the last days, mm-hmm. the women look down on us because we ain't blue face. We ain't Floyd Mayweather. We yep. ain't one of these rappers. We're not one of these entertainers. We're not one of these sportsmen. That's fine. They have that consolation. Mm-hmm. But in these last days when all this shit hits the fan, the Lord going to give us a certain body, a certain Beautiful. spirit, that Beautiful. no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. The Lord said we got mount up like, like the wings of eagles. The Lord said we shall mm-hmm. run and never weary. The Lord said we shall be like sparks among the stubble. The stubble. Beautiful. That's talking about being what you see on these movie theaters. Superheroes, man. We're going to be like Nightcrawler, man. We're going to dematerialize and rematerialize in your face and say Shalom. We're mm-hmm. going to be like the Hulk. We're going <laughs> to pick up a whole tank and we're going to... We gonna, um, and we're going to do what they call it. We're going to shot put it like they do in the Olympics, man. Yep. Okay. We're going to be like, we're going to be like one of these Olympians doing a triple jump with mm-hmm. one jump. All right. We, we're going to be doing all kind of things that you go, you could, your wildest imaginations, man. Yep. Why? Because we forsook this world and we, and, and we forsook our life and we took on, uh, we took on, we buried the cross like Yahweh Shai did to show that Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is true, is real. And that we're gonna profess their name, and that our bodies are not yep. of our own, but they were bought with the price with the blood of Yahweh Shai, and that we're gonna show them that they do they do live and they exist, man. All right, Superman, uh, Black Superman of Black Adam, right, Superman right. of Black Adam, man. Because right. hey, we already know that the men of the Lord are gonna be be preserved. But as for those carnal two third men, I'm gonna bring it out in Isaiah three. It says, "Thy men." This is Isaiah three and twenty five. It says, "Thy men shall fall by the sword." And the mighty in war. So all these two-thirds are going to go out to the military. They're going to get killed off. You're going to have all these two-third Jakes getting shot down by Esau Edom's teeth. Burr, burr, burr. Exactly, man. <laughs> What's, That's the name why of the, What's the name of that song? Da, 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 that Kevin Stamps is always playing. What they call it? I forgot what they call it. The so, I know that's all Kevin Stamps. He played that a lot. <laughs> he played that like a lot. He, whatever he played that, that means that it's it for the woman. She's done. Uh-huh. Just, exactly. Da, 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 da. It's yep. one. It, 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 it's their own grave, man. All the uh-huh. that's going to um, war, man. You know exactly. And yep. you know, Pookies and Ray Rays—they getting shot down too. Chads, all of them. They they getting they getting destroyed, man. And this is why it tells you in Isaiah four and one. I got to bring that out. It says, "In that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread, and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach." So. The women are going to be looking for the men of the Lord, you know, to be what? To have that last name, to be saved, all right? right to be right. to bear that elect man's children, okay? And going back to the feature, to the uh, to the title, I'm going to end off with um, Isaiah 13, uh, Isaiah 13 and verse 12. Hey, the sister cracking up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the burr, burr, burr. Yep, yeah. look at this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I like this before before I end it out. This is beautiful. Daniel 7 to 18. But the saints of the Most High, which are the elect men, shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdoms forever and forever and ever. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Mm-hmm. We're going to go vote. 
No, 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 no. We're going to try and get a legislation passed. No, 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 no. We're going to try and get a seat at the G20 summit. Yep. Hell no. We, gonna we don't need it. that. We're going to take it. We're going to take it by force. The scriptures tell us what? That we're going to be become those battle axes and weapons of war. That we're going to be what? That sharp threshing instrument having teeth. That we're going to beat the nations with a rod of iron. And listen, he didn't say beat them, you know, just beat them. He said beat them into dust. <laughs> Be him like the potter's like like the potter's vessel, man. Uh huh. Like the potter's vessel, man. You you hit that. You hit a vessel. It's gonna it's gonna shatter. Okay. Gonna shatter, That's how it's man. gonna be, man. That's how it's gonna be. All the nations are gonna be in subjection, just like in the time of King David. Okay. Oh, yeah. King David had all the nations in subjection, especially Esau and him, and we know how he felt about them. I mean, bro, even King David's grandmother was an Ammonite. When King David sent some of his mm. men to go talk to Ammon, they, they fear him so much, they yep. stripped half of the men's clothes off and cut half their beard. Oh, you sent messages, David. David, like, what do you mean? Hold on, man. Y'all, my grandmama is an Ammonite. We don't talk. Yep, yep. <laughs> they yep. feared him that much, man. I mean, uh -huh. even even um, when his son Absalom was coming after him, I remember one of the men told Absalom, like, do you not know that your father is like a lion? And his mighty men with him will fight to yeah. death. Like, yep. do you not know who your father is? Mm -hmm. But like the Lord said, the deceived and the deceiver are yeah, his. his. Yep. Whoa, whoa, boy. You, you know what I mean? But, um, <laughs> you have anything else? I, I, I was gonna close out with a precept. Yeah, I'm gonna close out with um Isaiah 13. I, I started at 11 and um ended with at verse 12, and it says, And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for iniquity, and I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease. And will lay low the harshness of the terrible. Okay. Verse 12 says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. Most importantly, the men of the Lord. Because we'll have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. We'll be stable. Yahweh Hashem Yashah will lift up that standard. And Lord willing, we are amongst that number to have those spiritual powers, man. To be to what? To withstand the, to withstand the evil day. You got it up. All right, so um, this is my closeout precept. This is First Timothy, chapter four, verse thirteen through sixteen, mm. and it reads: "Till I come, give attendance to reading, to exhortation, to doctrine. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which is faith and grace, <laughs> which was given thee by prophecy, mm. with the laying on of the head of the presbytery." Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all beautiful. Beautiful. Put heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. That's beautiful. I gotta highlight those. Hey, hey, spirit, That's beautiful. Man. That's the spirit right there. Huh? It comes by hearing, man. So you know. Mm -hmm. That's it. Don't have to chime on that one, huh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nile. <laughs> <laughs> All right, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, that's beautiful. You pop, you pop, you pop. But yes, uh, Yasharala, at the end of the day, a man of the Lord, as in the days of old, shall be as fine gold, man, especially in the times that we're, we're heading into. All right? So, like the brother just put it in, uh, in First Timothy, man. To keep studying, man. To keep to stay in the meditation of righteousness. To, to, to continue an upright conversation. Okay? And to make sure that you make your calling election sure. All right? And for the women, the humble daughters of Zion, you know, keep keep going in righteousness. Being a help me to your husband. And if you don't have husbands, man, you know, still pursue righteousness right, right, and listen right, right. to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. You know? Right. Stay in that wise counsel. All right? So I just want to say the water to the brother, our body up. Very, very uh, knowledgeable to the spirit. And I also put his uh, two channels in the comment section. So make sure you guys subscribe. All right. And I pray that you all were edified. So first and foremost, again, give all praises to Yahweh. Peace and blessings to the whole family elect. And double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone. That's been teaching us the truth. Much respect to the mighty Gabarium on the highways and hedges. And to the Gabarium making visitification. And citations to the whole family. Let's gather the broad. Shalom. Shalom.